I'm Jerry Reynolds, the Car Pro, and welcome to another edition of the Automotive News in Two Minutes. 3.3 million Americans of driving age need a wheelchair to get around, yet there's never been a factory-built, mass-produced car for them until now. Take a look at this. It's called the MV1, and the very first one rolled off the assembly line in Indiana this week. It's the first vehicle specifically designed to meet the Americans with Disability Act guidelines. Until now, you'd have to buy a vehicle, then pay to convert it, at a total cost of about $55,000. The MV1, with its ramp and seats for six, cost $40,000. Now this week, I got a chance to drive one car that felt like three. A performance car, a luxury sedan, and an economy car. Check it out. I've got the 2012 Infiniti M Hybrid for you this week. First and foremost, this is a luxury car. Huge interior, a really nicely appointed inside. It'll fit five comfortably. But what's unusual about this car is it's two cars in one. If you want performance, it's got 360 horses under the hood with a three and a half liter V6 engine. But if you want that fuel economy, particularly in town, when you're running on the batteries, this car delivers that too. It's rated at 27 miles to the gallon. I'm actually getting 29 with use of tools that come with the car. The great instrumentation that's up here that helps you maximize and be aware of your fuel economy at all times. The other neat thing that I've never had before is called an eco pedal. When it's on, the gas pedal actually pushes back against your foot if you're over accelerating the car and that helps you to maximize that fuel economy, particularly when you're in town. The only problem with this car, if there is one, is the trunk space. You lose a lot of that with the hybrid batteries that are stored in the trunk. The other thing about this car is, if you wanna go green and you wanna save a lot of money on fuel, it comes at a price. This car is $68,000 on the MSRP, but I gotta tell you, it's a really enjoyable car to drive. Okay, so the Eco Pedal is a novelty. It kinda of scolds you for having a heavy foot, but I found it annoying. Fortunately, if you don't like it, you can turn it off. Catch me on the radio Saturday in Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Los Angeles, Sacramento, Lubbock, and Phoenix. Check the website, carproshow.com, for showtimes and details. I'm Jerry the Car Pro. Have a great week.